G'day folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. I'm back, ah, these corks are hurting me. I'm gonna get changed any minute. I'm back in the Video Jug Kitchen today. It's Australia for my World Cup themed, like good food, good times. We're making Aussie meat pies. These are annoying me. Let's get it off, let's get something else on. Let's make some amazing meat pies. That's better, my inner Kylie Minogue is coming out. I've got my little buddy Bruce in here that's gonna help me through this recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is get our frying pan nice and hot. So I've got some olive oil here, about a tablespoon of that. We'll warm it through. It's gonna be mince and bacon in there. The bacon is optional, but I'm feeling quite happy about bacon today. So are you. Right, so I'm starting off by pushing in the onions. We'll give them about a minute or two on their own initially. Then we'll follow up with our mince to get that browned and our bacon bit. So just push this around. It shouldn't take long if your pan's nice and hot. So the onions are nice and translucent now, so not cooked through, but that's fine. We're just gonna push in our mince. We're gonna start to brown that up, break it down as we go. I kinda want to get this guy to help me like this, but um, safety first and all, he's gonna eat it. So just break it down, get it all into nice little pieces. You don't want a massive slab of meat in your pie. Right guys, it's time to add in our bacon lardons. There's a little bit of fat in there, but that'll render off very soon. We'll just tip that in there. I'm not sure about Australia's chances for the World Cup. I'm kind of excited for you guys. You know, you're the underdogs, which everyone likes an underdog. Champion, Kylie Minogue spirit, we'll see you through. Let's cook this through. So our lardons are cooked off. I've got some corn flour here. Just for about a minute, it's gonna help hold this together. It's gonna bring it down, just like start to form a paste sort of thing. So just mix that through. A little bit of action on there, like that. Make sure it's all combined. I'm not gonna do too much. You're not gonna realize the impact it's gonna do, but it will hold it together, and that's important for this pie. Oh, crikey, uh, Bruce is trying to escape there. It's now time. The corn flour has helped thicken and bond together our ingredients there, but we're gonna moisten it up again to drill some more flavor through it. So here is our beef stock, first of all. In that goes, all over there like so. Ah, oh, calming influence. The aim is for this to all simmer off. It's just getting more flavor in there. So now we're gonna add in those flavors that are really gonna give it that tang. So first up, our barbecue sauce. We're gonna push that in. If you're a fan of barbecue sauce, you know, you can push this up even more and compensate it for the ketchup, which we're about to add now. But for me, that's just gonna give it enough. You don't want to over, you're not smoking it. We're not making an edible barbecue right now. Ketchup goes in. And of course, the confrontational Vegemite. Now let me know down below, what is better, Vegemite or Marmite? Me and the cameraman as well, I both agree, it tastes exactly the same. But you know, let us know down below and a good shake of Worcester sauce. Tweak it to your liking. I'm gonna put in around about a tablespoon, but again, this is the chance now. You can mix it all through, get it all nice and absorbed in there. That tang working its way through, you wanna simmer it down, and then you can make any final tweaks using these condiments right here. Right, Bruce? See you asleep. Okay, folks, so uh, my mint has all sort of cooled down naturally. It got to the point, as you can see here, it's just a teeny bit still moist. I've got some short crust pastry here and some puff pastry. The short crust is gonna form the base and the sides. I feel like I'm a, like a flight attendant here. Uh, and on the lid, we're gonna have a puff pastry, so it's gonna go nice and risen. So what I'm gonna do is let this cool down naturally and we'll start to shape it into a greased pie tin. So I'm just grabbing my pie dish and just laying that in at the bottom. The good thing about this pastry is it's quite maneuverable and flexible, so we can just push it all in, and if there's any excess off the sides, we can just cut it off. So what you wanna be doing is just tidying around the edges. The top half here doesn't matter so much because you're gonna cover that in the puff pastry sheet anyway, but what you can do is just run a knife around the outside to just take off and trim any sort of excess bits. Like these bits here, they don't wanna be in your Aussie pie. Get rid of those bits and it's time to fill it up. So what I'm doing here is using my other pie dish, which is exactly the same size, to just create a little mold for our lid, like so. So if I just pop that off like there, there we go, that'll fit perfectly on top of that once our filling is in there. So I'm gonna repeat that again for my second pie, and it's time to get the meat, the main meaty goodness, in there. Right, so we'll get our meaty filling now. It has cooled down, it's still a little warm, but that's fine, it's obviously in the oven, it'll get nice and hot again. So just load this up. As it's not too moist, you can really stamp that filling in there, and that's what it's all about, getting a real good butch amount of meat in there. So our puff pastry lid that we cut out just simply goes on top now. Obviously, it's gonna hug it a little bit, so what you wanna do is just crimp it together. We're gonna seal these edges and give it an egg wash in a minute. But first of all, just press it together, so you know, two become one, like the Spice Girls. Australian Spice Girls, maybe two become one, no. Right, so all I'm doing now with that lid on there is giving it a nice seal with the egg wash. I'll go over the top two, that'll give it a really nice golden colour. So they've been through an egg wash, like a car wash, but for eggs. And what we do is just give it a nice little prick in there to allow some steam coming out of this. It's now going in the oven for 20 minutes. I'm probably going to go get some fresh air because being in the kangaroo suit is a little bit of a hot thing. You don't have to do that. That's optional to really get into the spirit of things. But in they go. Can't wait to see what they look like. 
I don't know about you, Bruce, Bruce, but that has come out fantastic. It's been 25 minutes in there, nice golden brown and risen. All we need to do now is grab some ketchup, proper Aussie style, and give it a nice little squirt on the top, because believe it or not, apparently that is how they serve it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe to both My Virgin Kitchen and of course Video Jug Food. If you like what I do, check out my book, Dinner's On, and I'll see you again next time.